Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics and catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing uh, various types of ring closing enine metathesis as well as enine metathesis uh, uh, reactions, the conditions and the examples. Um, and also uh, we had uh, been exploring the scope of this ring closing enine uh, uh, metathesis as well as uh, uh, enine metathesis in terms of applications. As in this context, uh, we have discussed about a cycloaddition reaction and enine metathesis reaction in the earlier lecture. And uh, today we are going to uh, take a, a look at some more examples of this uh, enine metathesis rea reactions, then we'll try to finish off uh, our discussion on enine metathesis reaction uh, and then take up uh, uh, another very interesting uh, uh, topic which is alkene and alkyne oligomerization reactions. Now in keeping with uh, uh, the main scope of this uh, uh, course uh, where we had uh, uh, highlighted the uh, important organometallic uh, catalytic reactions which has uh, make it big uh, uh, in, uh, in terms of going beyond the confines of the laboratory and uh, reaching the source of industry in terms of large scale utility. Uh, uh, this alkyne and alkene metathesis oligomerization reaction is another uh, such topics which had uh, uh, been uh, recognized with no Nobel Prize and its utility uh, to the uh, mankind is well uh, uh, recognized and well established uh, by now. So with this uh, uh, let us come back uh, to our uh, initial topic of uh, enine metathesis examples uh, which we are going to be uh, 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 taking up now. And uh, the reaction is between this and uh, two kinds of substrates, one is this or the other other is this uh, substrate. Uh, now the, uh, the, uh, uh, the products formed are Now, uh, to work out the product, one needs to start with the substrate and the, the catalyst, which would come along as it is shown here. to give the metallocyclobutene intermediate that would further generate this alkene along with the 
this active species which is the uh, uh, metal. And then this active species as is shown over here would subsequently go on to react with the substrate as is shown in the next slide. would react uh, with the alkene substrate OBG to give the first the metallocyclobutene transient state. OBZ as it is shown over here and that would rearrange to give So, there is a double bond between 5 and 6 and 7 now now this is a very interesting intermediate and it has two possibilities uh, uh, that it can arise. One is uh, this uh, one is this reacting with the olefin uh, giving uh, uh, the corresponding alkene. and regenerating back the olefin that is possibility number 1. The other possibility is uh, this undergoing a metathesis between these two olefin uh, in something which is shown over here this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 7 so uh, uh, 
uh, this seven uh, seven also has o b z so this is in this configuration if it comes around then possibility is is this and that I think this structure is not done properly. Two, two, three, four, five, six, this is 7. So, that would give a structure, this would undergo a metathesis and give a structure like this. To three, four, five, six, seven, as it is shown here and then subsequently This should undergo rearrangement to give the product OBZ. So, uh, uh, this uh, uh, as uh, mentioned earlier that that this was a important intermediate and that uh, resulted into two different uh, uh, that can result into two different product product number 1 uh, and the second product product number uh, uh, 2 and that uh, arises because of uh, intramolecular uh, uh, intramolecular metathesis reaction between two in uh, which occurs between these two or it can uh, 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 give um, uh, this uh, product. Now, uh, uh, these uh, are very interesting uh, reactions uh, where depending on the uh, orientation of the reactant uh, intramolecular as well as intermolecular uh, reaction may proceed and that can give rise to two different uh, products. So, this is uh, enine plus cycloaddition and this is just uh, enine a reaction that is happening. Uh, so, uh, uh, with that uh, uh, we have we come to the end of our discussion on uh, enine metathesis reactions. We have uh, looked into all variants of it to start uh, to start with we have looked at uh, in uh, intra intermolecular uh, enine metathesis followed by uh, in uh, intramolecular enine metathesis and the different products uh, uh, that are uh, that have been obtained using this uh, metathesis reaction. We have also looked at uh, various uh, complex uh, structures that can be obtained by enine uh, metathesis reactions. Uh, some uh, can be cycloadditions, tandem uh, and with that very complex uh, uh, motifs have been synthesized. 
So, with this uh, we conclude our uh, discussion on olefin metathesis and we are going to move on to another interesting topic of uh, alkene and ol uh, olefin oligomerization and polymerization reactions. Now, uh, uh, to move back, uh, move, move on to this uh, new uh, uh, reactions of olefin oligomerization and polymerization, uh, I must mention that these uh, are also uh, uh, important reactions, particularly in terms of large scale synthesis and utility in industry for producing uh, various value added uh, uh, chemicals uh, using these methods. And uh, these also uh, are also a part of the Nobel Prize uh, award winning discovery of olefin polymerization. Uh, so, in uh, and furthermore, uh, this highlights the utility of. Uh, uh, organometallic chemistry uh, for large scale applications. So, with this uh, let us uh, move on to the uh, next topic of uh, oligomerization and polymerization of alkenes and alkynes. Uh, one must uh, uh, mention that uh, uh, these uh, reactions oligomerization of alkenes and alkynes as and polymerizations of alkenes and uh, alkynes they were initially discovered almost at the same time of olefin metathesis reactions. So, uh, the action uh, was uh, the first observation uh, happened in around 1950s, late 50s or early 60s uh, which had been the case for both olefin metathesis as well as for uh, uh, olefin uh, oligomerization and polymerization reactions. But uh, even though uh, this metathesis uh, reaction as well as polymerization reactions of olefin they were initially observed in and around same time uh, it is the olefin uh, oligomerization and polymerization reactions were uh, established much uh, uh, Mm, earlier uh, with the Nobel Prize coming in in 1960s, uh, mid 60s, 63, 64 uh, for the discovery whereas uh, for the olefin metathesis the reaction took longer time to uh, incubate and uh, develop and the uh, fi final recognition came in 2005, uh, so about 30 or 40 more years later. So, uh, the olefin uh, uh, you know, oligomerization polymerization of uh, reactions uh, uh, had seen the light of the day much earlier than the olefin metathesis reactions that we had uh, discussed uh, in our earlier topic. Now, one reason um, for this late uh, recognition of uh, olefin metathesis as a, uh, in comparison to olefin oligomerization and polymerization is uh, because of the fact that olefin metathesis is uh, much more complex a reaction in terms of the mechanism and uh, the pathway it takes uh, in terms of applic applications. So, it is much more complex, much more bigger uh, and hence it took a longer time to elucidate and understand uh, than the uh, olefin uh, polymerization uh, reaction. But this does not uh, take away any credit uh, from the olefin oligomerization and polymerization reactions because they themselves uh, represent a huge field uh, uh, as such and uh, a due credit uh, uh, is uh, given to them as well in presence or absence of any other uh, discoveries. So, with this uh, uh, let us uh, uh, start our discussion on oligomerization and polymerization of alkenes and alkynes. One uh, of the uh, thing which is common to this oligomerization reaction uh, is that uh, the mechanism in which uh, this oligomerization happens and these usually happens by a pathway called coordination insertion pathway. Uh, what this means uh, uh, um, is that uh, 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 the, the metal, what it means that the metal must have a vacant site, metal with all these ligands uh, 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 must uh, have a, a vacant site uh, 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 to which 
the olefin first binds and so uh, this is called coordination step and the next step is this after binding the olefin then inserts uh, uh, into uh, uh, this metal alkyl bond and uh, this vacant site is regenerated. Uh, to which again an olefin uh, comes and binds and then the process, uh, the process proceeds on. So, uh, this in short uh, uh, is uh, the uh, uh, mechanism uh, which is uh, aptly followed and this is commonly re uh, referred to as coordination insertion. So, uh, the coordination step uh, is shown over here and the insertion step is shown over here. So, uh, the first step uh, involves uh, coordination uh, and the second step involves insertion where the uh, olefin inserts into the metal alkyl bond. Uh, so, uh, uh, what is uh, uh, important to note is that this is a sort of a common uh, 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 mechanism or common pathway accepted for olefin oligomerization and the uh, uh, polymerization uh, uh, reactions. And uh, the what is uh, the important step common to the dimerization oligomerization. and polymerization reactions is the insertion of eta 2 alkene to the metal C alkyl bond. And this is exactly what we had referred to as a coordination insertion mechanism. So, important uh, step uh, for any oligomerization, dimerization, trimerization, or in polymerization is the insertion uh, first the coordination of the olefin to the uh, vacant site and then subsequent insertion mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, coordinated olefin to the metal alkene bond. And the second important thing is. the formation of product depends on the competition of chain growth and chain termination. So, this is an uh, uh, interesting uh, observation. It says that the 
the extent to which a polymer will grow depends on the rate of uh, competition, uh, rate of uh, co comparative rate of chain growth which is uh, propagation uh, step as well as the chain termination. If the chain propagation step is faster than the termination step then longer polymers will form and if the uh, chain uh, termination overtakes chain propagation then uh, shorter uh, uh, oligomers uh, or shorter polymers or oligomers will form. So, uh, uh, this uh, is an interesting uh, observation and in this context in this slide we are going to uh, take a look at various examples of uh, alkene uh, oligomerization and polymerization uh, processes as we move uh, on with the discussion uh, on this topic in the subsequent uh, lectures. So, with this uh, we come to the conclusion of today's lecture. Uh, in today's lecture we have looked into uh, uh, another example of uh, uh, tandem uh, enine metathesis and cycloaddition reaction uh, resulting in formation of two products uh, depending on uh, the orientation of the uh, active species and the olefins and subsequent reaction with uh, uh, alk uh, alkynes. Uh, we had looked into various uh, pros and cons or various important features of this enine metathesis reaction both in intermolecular as well as inter intramolecular fashion. Uh, uh, and then in this lecture we have finished our discussion on enine metathesis uh, and then uh, initiated uh, our discussion on uh, another important topic of olefin olig oligomerization and polymerization uh, reactions. We have noted that uh, these oligomerization and polymerization reactions uh, proceed via coordination insertion pathway where there is a vacant site to which the olefin binds and subsequent insertion of the uh, bound olefin or coordinated olefin to a metal alkene bond is crucial to the formation of the uh, this oligomerization or polymerization reaction. Another thing that we have noted is uh, that uh, the extent to which a polymer uh, length uh, will grow uh, uh, depends on the rate in which the propagation and the termination step occur and depending on uh, the interplay of the two uh, 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 the factors would decide on the length of the oligomer. So, uh, with this uh, uh, we are coming to an end of today's discussion. We are going to be discussing this new topic of olefin oligomerization and polymerization in more detail as we take up the topic in the subsequent uh, lecture. Uh, I once again thank you for uh, being with me in this uh, uh, discussion and I look forward to taking up uh, uh, this discussion on olefin oligomerization polymerization in mu uh, much deta uh, detail when we uh, meet next. Uh, uh, till then goodbye and thank you. Thank you.